Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm going to do my nails with you guys today. I wanted to share this is the Kiss Nails that I was talking about in my last video. Um, and I got some more for Christmas. But I just took off these last night. It, they lasted a week. One week. And this is what my nails look like. I'm going to show you. So, the glue isn't... I mean, there's some remnants of glue on that one, but pretty much there's not even any glue on my nails. So, they're a little bit... What happened? My dogs are here. They're a little bit... Um, they're just in such bad shape anyway. That's why I was like, I got to put these on because look at the after. So, let me go back up. So, I had the French on last week, and um, I loved them. And so, I did this hand so that you could see... It's an instant manicure, okay? And I cut these down because I can't do anything with long nails. Now, they have real short. That's what my French ones were. And they weren't real short, if you ask me. Um, this is short. I got these, which is just a nice pink color, kind of a neutral. And then this, which is a medium length. And... They're pr these two are the same, but one of them came with this. This one, today's, came with these. I didn't get this in my um, other one, and I'm wondering if they're going to be in here. Um, yeah, it says apply tab. So there's two, there's two adhesive possibilities. Let's see if it's on the back of this. See, this one didn't come with that. This one only came with the glue. Anyway, I'm going to use the glue um, instead of the adhesive. Maya did these when we were doing them together and it was hard to get the little backing off of the glue strip. So I just opted for, the glue worked for me the first time, so I'm just going to stick with that. First thing you want to do is they tell you, they give you this little nail pusher in there too, and they're supposed to be, um, a, like a thing to clean, let's see if it's in here, like a thing to clean your nails. So this is what you get. You get the nails, the glue. See, this one came with it. The adhesive, this type of adhesive, and this type of adhesive. But it also should come with a little nail file and a cuticle pusher. So I'm going to open this. See if it's in here. It looks like this thing. Okay, maybe this, no, I don't know. I opened this on the last one and I don't, but I have animals in here and like see they're running around with their toys, um, but they're supposed to be a like ugh, a nail cleaner, like a, um, something with some type of uh, maybe alcohol on it type thing. Anyway, I already did that off camera. I cleaned my nails, I washed my hands, and I pushed the cuticle back, so you take this little pusher and just push your cuticle back. Sometimes people who don't get manicures and things, your cuticle can grow up your nail pretty pretty far. Um, but they generally will push back your cuticle a little because it'll grow up the nail. Well, I just said that. <laughs> so anyway, you do that. All right, good enough. Good enough, Sarah. Then, see, I should put these back in here making a mess. Sorry guys. I try to be a little more organized. But anyway, then you get your nails out and you pick the ones that are going to fit your nails the best. I already picked these five for this hand. But what you would do is just take the nail and put it on and see if it fits because everyone has different, so that's way too big for a pointer finger. It could go on my middle but it's I think for a thumb. So you pick the ones that you think are going to fit the best. And then this one came with solids. So I have two solids on this hand and two solids on this hand. I probably could have just put, I think I was supposed to put one solid. Um, anyway, but I have, I did, I went with the two solids. So I already picked them out. And then the next step is to cut them down a little bit. But... I did that on this hand, so I cut them first, and I already cut my thumb, because these were mediums, and I need them short, so see how they're really not sticking out that far at all, because then I can craft, but they still look nice, they still look like manicured nails, you know, so I did cut 
two down. I cut this one down so it's like right to the edge of where my but then you're going to file them too. So this goes on here. And then this, so here's what I do. So this is my middle finger. So I put it on, but see how long it would be? And there's a number under there too, which I didn't follow the numbers at all. I just used my own um, judgment to see which ones fit best. But that's super long for me. Like I wouldn't be able to do anything with that. So I'm going to cut it just a little bit so that I don't have to file as much, but I'm gonna go on the long side rather than the short side because depending on how you cut it, it could be, or how I put it on. When I did them last time, this one totally went crooked like by the time it stuck, so at least then I could correct it with filing. You'll see what I mean. All right, so then this one goes here. So I'm just going to take the tip of it off because it didn't seem nearly as long as the middle one. And then this one. Merry Christmas, by the way. Um, it's today's the 26th of December. I'm just going to see there's a number 10 right there. I'm just going to cut that off. Maya, Maya's on her way over. Well, she's going to be here. So we'll give her her gifts. All right, so these are ready to get on my fingers. They're not, I could file them a little bit. That's what it says in the directions. So like, see how wonky that one is? I'm just going to give it. Just round it off. And then when it gets on my hand, I actually like to. Because I like the square nails, but I don't like it to be pointy on the ends, like right there. I just file it a little uh, more gently. So that one looks pretty good. See, like they're really jaggly when you cut them. See, see this point? It has a point right there. I don't like that. Sometimes at the studio, the manicurist will leave it like that. And when I get home, I always file it anyway. Um, and just make them smoother. But they file really well. So, I mean, I'm just telling you guys about these because because my nails have been looking so rough lately and of COVID, I haven't been going to the salon. Because even if I just throw a coat of pink nail polish on, it really makes them look much better. I don't know if it's my thyroid or what's going on with the reason why my nails aren't growing at the moment. I've always had pretty thin nails like they're not strong nails some women have such and my son has such beautiful nails he can hit I mean he keeps them short obviously but he could grow them and they're so strong mine break all the time like they're really um if I bang it into anything like if I'm doing laundry not not the clothes but like when I'm reaching into the hamper I'll just like bang them and they break so easy so these are just, anyway, um, another option. So that it lasted a week, and I washed my hair a couple times. So I'm doing everything I would be doing. I washed dishes. I did everything that I would normally do. And then last night, as a matter of fact, I was at uh, my sister-in-law's house, and I reached in a bag to get something, and my thumb popped off. Because, you know, so see, I probably only had the glue right in the center. So this time I tried to put the glue a little more toward the edges. Like, not too much, because I do want to be able to get them off. But I just love the, the instant gratification. That's what I'm all about. All right. So this is the one that I, I feel like there's plenty in here. I've gotten two, one whole set, and then this hand with this glue. And I'm going to continue to use this. I haven't opened the glue from the other one. All I had to do was snip it again because it sealed up. But let's see. I'll start with my pinky. And I'm right-handed, so this probably wasn't smart for me to do my left hand on camera now. I just have a little bit of glue. And then I just kind of rub it around with the, with the applicator. And you put it on the nail as well. Uh-oh. And I, I stuck my finger to... Look, this could be really fudgy, you guys, so just be patient. Try to center it. And then give it pressure. And it's like five seconds to 
three, four, five. And it's on. And then I try to push my skin back out of the way just so like it's not, but that's on there. That's going nowhere. Instant gratification. I love it. Okay. Then I'm going to do the next one. Yeah, but I probably should have done this hand. I am so bad with my left hand. So I'm just putting the glue a little more around the whole thing instead of just on top. Then you put it on the inside of the nail. Sunshine, what are you talking about? What is she talking about? She likes to chime in when I'm talking. All right. And then you just, oh, that's the wrong finger. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's this finger. See, whenever I do stuff on camera, I mess up. It makes me sad. I want to do it right. But there's no do-overs for this one. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> And it's on, and then I gotta do this one fast because I put glue on the other one. Hopefully, oh God. I am getting a little sloppy, folks. I wanna get that off and then put this on. All I'm saying is, look, I am not a professional. As you can see, there's a lot of glue. I wanna make sure I'm straight. One, two, three, four. And I'm just going to push the skin back a little because I put extra glue on that. See, it might be a little crooked or it's the way I cut it, but I'm going to be able to fix that. So that's why it's better to um, don't take off too much length initially because you can always mess up like I just did and um, grab the wrong nail and Put the wrong nail on the wrong finger. Anything. Anything can happen. And you have plenty of other nails to, um, to use as well if you do mess up. Okay. And literally after five seconds, it is on there. I don't know what the heck kind of glue this is, but hey, hey, shh. All right, last one. I'm so excited. Look at that. Now I'm going to go from that to beautiful. So when I went to get more, they only had medium length, so that's fine. And I went online and stuff, and they had such cute Christmas ones. And they have Halloween OMG. So, because when I was going to the salon, I was trying to get like fancy decorations on it. You know, they have ones with gems, which I didn't think, I thought I would catch them on things. Because I'm just very klutzy and I use my hands a lot for all types of stuff. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. I can hear them upstairs above me in my bedroom, my dogs. <sighs> they are. Oh. Okay. So there's that. OMG, you guys. All right. So now that I'm going to start with my pinky because you can see the difference in length. So I just take them down to where they just hit. Um, right above where my finger ends so that I, I mean, but those of you who like them long, um, let's see. So I don't even have a long length. Maya got the long length and they're, we call them Cardi B's, but they're like out to here. Like you can get those fancy ones that the real, you know, the girls love to wear. I just, I'm going to go up a little cause it's too close to, so then you just, That's how I do it. I just do it like this. And this is the part that even after they do it at the uh, salon, they go, they go down the sides like this to get the glue off. So 
So there's glue there that kind of comes through. And you just, I just get the sharp edges. Still a little long. And just gently, this is the rough side of the um, nail file as well. But I do like them a little shorter. So see how this is totally wonky. I swear, it's just like I'm at the they Okay, I'm going to go off camera and totally finish. Okay, I just want to show you one thing. So it looks like this pinky, I did put on a little crooked. So in other words, it's not as far over this side as it is over this side. So this is kind of coming down much. So all I do is just go take it up. You know, take it closer to because you don't want it to poke you in the skin. And voila, you're done. Let me see. And the other thing is, I'll go get like this nail file didn't have them, but usually it has that little like scoopy thing that you can scoop the dust out. And I just pulled my nails down because it was glued. My skin was glued to the nail. But that comes off like in like one day of washing your hands it loosens up and everything so this hand I just did much better of course because I wasn't on camera but don't they look pretty you guys I love them see and I have glue stuck to me still but that's all fun for me I like taking off the glue so that's it that was my little share of how you go from blah to fabulous and usable like I can do everything I can pick things up so I'm gonna come back and do some dotting for you guys because I wanted you to have a nice manicure to look at all right thanks for watching